Easy peeps, welcome back to another episode of Started From The Bottom, The Road To Glory. How are we doing? Are you still enjoying footbus? Yeah, woo, woo. Ooh. Right, let's just finish off uh, footage from the weekend league, shall we? So, wrapping it all up in terms of gameplay, Friday was shocking, Saturday was the usual mess, and Sunday seemed to be like, Rage quit City. We did all right, man. We the only reason I carried on playing is because we ended up getting some so many rage quits, it was unreal. And along the way, as well, we played some very good opponents, man. Of course, we took some owls, right? But you will see in a moment, we took I'll show you footage of one of them. We took two disconnects this weekend, absolutely outrageous. Unfortunately, at the time on both games, when we was actually in game. We was losing, so the disconnects made us lose the game. But there was, there was, I think, on one game we had like 70 minutes left, and on this one right here, we had what 60 minutes left. Yes, we're two one down, but the game completely and utterly froze on us. And this was the second time it happened. Now we didn't get disconnected from the EA servers. Nothing I was, I was doing that required internet dropped or anything like that. So it wasn't my internet connection. That's definitely an EA game problem, or whether it's people you know, doing some kind of no-loss glitch or something. Um, but overall, it was absolutely frustrating. So we did end up getting two disconnects, and my head had slightly gone. So both of those did come, you know, when I thought I was playing well, right? I thought I was playing well, I thought I was playing good stuff, and then we kind of had a disconnect, and I got my head around it. I I, uh, I put it onto Twitter and I was just like, yeah, man, you know, it's okay, it's okay. Then we played a few more. Then we got another one, and it just it threw me off this whole weekend, man. So I've got a little bit of a sour taste, you know, a bit, bit of a sour taste in my mouth regarding this weekend. Highlights is Alan was actually all right for us, you know. Um, and I don't know whether it's because I've lost so many coins on him that I'm kind of convincing myself that he's really, really good. But I'm happy we got him again for the second time, if that makes sense. So on to this game then. This kid was so, so good, man. He had a really, really good team. He was a really, really good player. Some moves we just couldn't... We just couldn't get past him on some moves. We got a little bit fortunate on a few goals. He got very fortunate on a few goals as well. But overall, it, it was just one of those games you come out of it and you're like, do you know what? He was all right, man. There wasn't any blag, so to speak, in it. There was, you know, FIFA stuff, if that makes sense. But there wasn't any utter blag where you think that is just so absolutely not fair. It's unreal. A few tackles like that or passes like that that went that, that went awry that you know really should have gone our way but that little things like that i don't mind so much it's when utter blag happens that it completely and utterly throws my mind so from that pass that i didn't aim there he ends up getting an equalizer from it which is unfortunate but then it's kind of repaid back as he threw out the ball probably didn't mean to throw it there and then he tries to get some kind of a tackle uh, but it just doesn't register and then Messi gets a goal to make it 3-2 so again It's blag for blag right, but it's not major blag if that makes sense and then on the 67th minute He's on the attack Vieira and Messi and Hazard and Firmino and all that completely destroying my defense to make it 3-3 really good goal really well played so we head into extra time and we do a really nice move as well between our front uh, front three it eventually lands to Messi he skins his defender as he's sliding all over the place and we manage to go 4-3 up on the 96th minute and he kind of fell apart then he was really really good for the whole like normal time and then as we hit extra time he kind of fell apart and holes were starting to form and like mistakes were starting to happen uh, and then i think as we went 4-3 up it kind of broke him a little bit because 4-3 turned into 5-3 as messi got another one just before he quit out the game but it was until that it was a really really good game the 90 minutes was absolutely exceptional against a really good team with some high class players in it and then we come across other games where they probably haven't got so so much of a better team yet the cards are playing like 
as we've said weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks now the cards are playing like they're made out of iron and you can't get past them and stuff it's just i don't understand it i really really don't understand it so this is where the batch of the rage quits started to kick in we was getting rage quits really really early on and it and it might it allowed me to carry on my head had gone a little bit anyway from getting the disconnects um i was a little bit annoyed with the game i thought right there's no way i'm staying up and playing this i'm just going to play to a time and that's it we're out of here but the the rage quits kept coming so i think in the course of like the time it would have took us to play one game we was getting through like four games man it was like really really good so we got a rage quit early on on that, that game just we got a rage quit about 30 minutes on that game just we go one nil up on this game in the third minute that wasn't quite enough for him to get himself out of here as we do carry on in the game but only until around about the seventh or eighth minute where crespo um manages to uh, get into the ball get into the box but the ball gets taken away from him we manage to win it back it lands to neymar neymar bangs it in the bottom of the net shouldn't have really have been a goal i think he was a little bit stressed out with the tackle that didn't really go through but he's out of here in under eight minutes so i'll take that one as well thank you very much sir now you look at this team here and you think oh there's a lot of golds there but he's got some meta golds he's got hazard he's got salah he's got ramos he's got aguero uh, and just because they're gold cards at this stage of the game doesn't mean they're trash and on top of it he was a really really good player as well man i think we played some really really good players this weekend um, it was it was crazy. So we had we had really really good players with some average teams. We had some really good teams with average players. We had disconnects. We had rage quits. It was just a really really strange weekend. That I can't quite know if I've come out of it thinking yeah that was all right. We got a little bit of luck in this one just towards the end where he took us down in the box for us to get the equaliser to make it 2-2, and that heads us into another extra time. I think I have three or four extra times uh, this weekend league you know and that obviously makes up for the fact that you're doing rage quits as well so overall we've probably spent exactly the same amount of time we do go three two up though in uh extra time thanks to umbop and then we managed to pile the pressure on again then on as a sub into messi messi shot rebounds that's a little bit of blag i hate things like that because that's totally beyond your control but it does make us go four two of course that made his head go and then four two turns into five two as neymar slots it into the back of the net and we end up finishing on 20 wins for this weekend league right then let's have a look at last night's content shall we i'm not actually going to do any of these sbcs on this video because i just want to think about them a little bit more but i might complete them tomorrow so make up for your mind if you think they're worth it or not i'm on the fence with this one i think it looks a decent card they've got a great first round so they could you know progress you know they could do all right so we so they could win the first game and then and they, I, they could do all right man so this card could get the diego carlos could get a few upgrades and he only needs you know a decent requirements inaki williams the requirements itself aren't too bad but the card isn't for me two star weak foot atrocious balance don't get me wrong out of all of the requirements so far for footmas these two cards last night are the absolute best you only need an 84 requirement for the uh, inaki williams with two team of the weeks or two ones to watch players it still feels slightly expensive but it's not too bad if you compare it to the others um and then if we look at cavani again his card isn't too bad being a high high he's more suited to like the lamb or the ram he's got great stamina but obviously is an issue with his balance but if you ever use the gold um cavani you know he's extremely strong he shrugs off a lot of people there's always challenges that happen or, or objectives that happen where you need to score with an, a player that's got over 80 physicality or something like that so he's always a good one if you remember we've had one with scoring headers and stuff and you only need an 83 rated team for this now obviously we look at it and we go 89 card for an 83 rated team and we can if we can get the chemistry to work actually get rid of some foot champions players as well so overall that seems fantastic however i'm just gonna hold fire on it i'm gonna think about it and i might do it for tomorrow's video before we look into what comes tomorrow um but if you think it's great value let me know in the description down below if we had icon sbcs i'd do it in a heartbeat but I don't know what I would use an 89 on at the moment 
to get rid of something that, like an 83 squad, that I may use elsewhere. Does that make sense? So I don't know. I think it's great value, though. I think Cavani as a player is pretty decent. Be a decent one to have in your club for objectives and stuff. But I just need to think a little bit longer before I know if I'm going to complete it. The only disappointing thing for me again last night was the fact that there's no daily SBC that gives us a pack return. There's nothing that really, if these three players don't interest you, you're off the game again. So, you know, just give us something like that or some more challenges or something to do, man. It just it just needs it just needs a little bit extra. And of course, the other most disappointing thing for me is we knew these players about two days ago, man, two, three days ago. The whole list has been leaked already, man. So there are, they aren't even changing. And then somebody in my Twitch stream said it's, uh, that he believes that they're on holiday. So I don't know, man, is that the case? Are they on holiday again for the 50th time this year? But even still, it's just a little bit disappointing that they haven't got enough time to mix things up if a list has been leaked three days before. Surely they can try and change the players or something. And if they don't, they don't. I mean, you know, apparently tomorrow it's going to be Modric and Atal. So you see for yourself, is it going to be Modric and Atal tomorrow? Who knows, man? Suzoko's on his way as well. It's just a mess, man. It is it. This whole game, man, needs some new people in charge. It really, really does. So we will think about the Cavani, and I'll also think about the Diego Carlos. The Williams, I'm definitely not going to do. Let me know in the description down below if you're going to do any of those three SBCs. But for now, my friends, we are out of here. Thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.